Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching a video about a mother who literally tattoos her baby. So you know whenever you got a child, imagine putting tattoos on it. This is what this mum does. Hey, my name's Shamika, and my son Traylon, he loves temporary tattoos, and I enjoy putting them on him. Okay, so she's got a baby. Usually whenever you have a baby, you like clean them, breastfeed them, feed them food, take care of them. This mother is giving her babies tattoos. I don't know if it's real tattoos with like ink and like the zoo thing, or if it's fake ones. I mean, either way, why would you literally tattoo a baby? Trainer is one years old. Trainer have tons of clothes and shoes. That's amazing. Good. At least you're spending your money on your child. I do think it is fake tattoos. By the way, it's not like actual tattoos. If she did properly tattoo the kid, it would get taken off. Offer. But still, why are you putting fake tattoos in the child? I don't understand it. Honestly, I'm just happy my parents were old and wrinkly. He have over probably like 150 sneakers. Why would you give a child 150 sneakers? Do you not realize how quick children grow? I'm not even kidding. Kids are literally like tadpoles. You know, tadpoles eventually turn into like frogs or like whatever them things are. They literally are like that size and then a month later they're like that size. They're like actually the size of like big food. Obviously that's like a big over exaggeration but like they grow so quickly. Why would you buy the little kid 150 pairs of sneakers? I literally have two pairs of shoes. A pair that I go for walks in and like a pair that I go out whenever I leave my house which is not very rare. I put on a jury to Accessorize the outfit. Okay, she's got jewelry. I don't know if it's fake. A lot of the times, these women and like people in America who make themselves out as rich, they're not rich, they're really poor. They'll like get a load of fake jewelry. I mean, look, he's got a wee chain. Like, that's cute. The baby does have his ears pierced. I don't know if I'm against it or like fine with it. I don't know. It's like they literally get like a nail put for their ear. Do they really need it? I mean, you know, it's her baby. She can do whatever she wants. I just can't believe that she literally has bought the baby 150 sneakers. Where is she getting her money? Because I want some of it. I think Traylon love dressing up because when he see himself dressed, he get in the mirror, he be feeling himself, he be bopping, he be dancing. Okay, so she thinks the child likes getting dressed up. Sorry to break it to you, but the kid won't remember it in like 10 years. And also, this does not look like a happy child. Like, this child looks angry. If I had a child, would I dress it up? Like, what would I literally put it in? I feel like I'd be like really lazy. I'd literally just have it in pajamas 24 7. I mean, you know, with them kids, you literally buy them an outfit and then a week later, it doesn't fit them. When I was eight months, I did a maternity shoot with my brothers at a tattoo shop and I got bullied on social media. All the comments were negative. I mean, I won't lie, that is understandable. If you're pregnant and you're saying, you know, dressing like that and maybe getting tattoos, people are going to think, what are you doing? I don't know much about tattoos. I know that it's like ink, which is on a needle, which is put into the arm. Would it possibly harm the baby? I hope she wasn't getting any in her belly. But like, if that ink's going into her system, could it like harm the baby? I don't know. Look, I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to comment that much, but you do have to keep in mind if you do put yourself on social media, you probably will get negativity. People were saying, oh, my baby is gonna be born with a whole bunch of tattoos. He gonna have skin poison. I mean, I think they're probably joking. Like, let's be realistic. Your child obviously isn't gonna be skin poisoned or have tattoos. They're probably just saying that because you're literally getting a load of tattoos while heavily pregnant. I mean, imagine the baby literally came out blue, like a smurf. Like, it literally has blue skin. It's been tattooed onto itself and you can't get rid of it. It was crazy. Like, I was laughing, but I said, I'm gonna get back at him. I mean, at least she was laughing about it. I don't think people are being horrible, horrible. Maybe a few people were, but like, as long as like you're being safe, I guess they're fine. I won't lie, whenever I see a heavily pregnant woman smoking or drinking, I do get a bit angry. Mainly because like, you know, they're pregnant, like what they're doing for their enjoyment is gonna affect their baby. And you know, smoking and drinking can really affect a baby. Trailing first tattoo was when he was six months. Okay, so this is where the tattooing starts. I'm assuming it is fake tattoos. I really hope it is. But as you can see, this is the baby with tattoos. I think it's got one in its face and then all over its body. How would that be done? Is it just like the sticky ones you'd use as a child? I mean, I won't lie, whenever I was like sex, I'd buy like fake tattoos and like rub it onto my arm and it'd be like a pony. But like, this is different. I feel like this is like, kind of like gangster tattoos. Can I say that? I don't mean it in like a mean way but it's like this is very grown up tattoos. If it was like I don't know like a strawberry on like his arm that would be fine but I feel like this is like different. This is like very adult tattoos. And just the detail of it. It was just so amazing. I mean you know it's definitely something new. I've never seen it before. Maybe we shouldn't do it you know. I just hope that she isn't putting like any signs which could be deemed like aggressive in her child. Obviously in America there's like gangs and they get like gang tattoos so it means that like they can tell who's part with like what gang with like the tattoo etc. I hope she isn't doing that to her baby because that could like put the baby's life at risk. Hey, hey y'all. Come on, look at it. Nugget. Nugget. I had to take your phone, son. 
Is the baby's name Nugget? I can't even remember the baby's name. Is that a nickname? Imagine the baby's name is literally Nugget. Oh my god, whenever I think of Nugget, I think of like chicken nuggets from like McDonald's. My celebrity in their fruit. We want to get straight in a new tattoo, so I want to do a photo shoot. Yeah. Oh yeah, keep in mind this baby is like 1.5 million followers. I don't even have that many followers. How does this baby literally more followers than me? This baby can't speak and he's literally famous. I mean, to be fair, people probably follow him because they're so shocked. They're like, oh my God, this baby has tattoos. When I first started tattooing and training, my family hated it. I mean, that is understandable. Look, whenever you're an adult, whenever you turn 18, you can do whatever you want. I don't think kids should get tattoos under the age of 18. I genuinely don't. I don't care if they've got like their parents' permission. Tattoos, piercings, cosmetic surgery should not be done until like the age of 18 or like 19. You know, they're literally getting ink put into their skin. Maybe kids are a lot more responsible than me, but like, I would not recommend it. But she is an adult, she can do it to her own body, but she's doing it to her babies as well. Because they don't like that I have tattoos, but now that they seem it could be something positive, they love it, because when we out, you get a lot of attention and kids really love the tattoos. I mean, do kids really love her? Are they just like intrigued? I mean, I won't lie, like my parents don't have any tattoos. I don't know if they like, like them or hate them. I guess they don't really care. They just like, they don't want them themselves. Tattoos can mean anything. Someone could literally get like a photo of like, I don't know, like headphones, but that could have like a really like party meaning, if that makes any sense. I don't know how to put it into words. You know, sometimes I do look at tattoos and I'm like, that looks atrocious. But then the person will turn around and be like, that was actually like my granny's favorite dog. And she's like dead. So like, it's a tattoo to like remember her. Also with tattoos, I swear you can get like people's ashes. So like, if you get someone cremated, you can literally get them tattooed into your body, which is kind of cool. When Shamika came up with the idea, I wasn't down with it. I was totally against it. I mean, I still am. I don't think a baby should be getting tattoos. Look, if it's wee small fake ones, and I mean like the crap ones that you get at, like a birthday party, I'm fine with it. But this is different. Like the baby genuinely looks like an adult. I wonder if she's trying to make her child look like a man she possibly would want to date. You know, with the jewelry, the tattoos. I don't know, something about this is just a bit off. I did not want her to do that with him. But since I seen where it could take her in trailing, I didn't have no issue with it because it it turned out to be a positive thing. Oh, so basically what she means, whenever she realized how much money they can make off Instagram, she was fine with it. Yeah, now I've kind of just clocked it. I did read the comments for a few minutes. Basically, the mother's treating the child like a doll, and she's probably making a lot of money out of him. You know, a lot of them shoes were probably gifted, so that's like tens of thousands of pounds of worth of shoes that she's got for free for her son. Yep, it's all going into place. It's like a jigsaw, and it's finally starting to be pieced together. The mother sees the child as like an object where she can make fame and money, and the friends have now noticed that so of course you're gonna be okay with it. Alicia help out with Nugget when I'm at work. And she can't control him. <laughs> He's so spoiled. Do you wanna know something I low-key love? That like there's good spoiled kids and then bad spoiled kids. I just think it's so sweet whenever you see wee kids getting attention. It's kind of like whenever you get like a puppy and like everyone just wants to like stroke it. That would absolutely be me if a kid like I love kids but then I kind of hate them because they like scream and they're annoying. But you know whenever they're calm and like all sweet and lovely I love them. The very first time Shamika told me about the tattoos my first reaction was, they're gonna call DCF on you. Exactly, but I don't think the tattoos are real. I mean, I really hope they're not. They better be fake tattoos. Imagine we find out in the end the tattoos are literally real. But you know, if you're literally tattooing your kid, of course CPS is gonna get called and yeah, the child's gonna get snatched away. The backlash was horrible. It hurt my feelings, cause I know I'm not a bad mom. And I got called, I was typing names, like it was, it was crazy. Well, to be fair, you did put it on social media. Like if you do see a child tattooed, most people will probably be against it. Like that's what most people People think and if you can't take the heat, turn the phone off, turn the social media off. There's so many tools on Instagram to avoid hate. You can literally put your account in private, turn your comments off, turn your mentions off, turn your tag photos off, turn your DMs off. You can literally put photos out and people can see them, but they can't talk about it on your page. That's how powerful Instagram is, and these people never do that. They literally like leave everything open and let the floodgates open for hate. He'll be a gangster. He'll be a gangster. He gonna get um shot down and screamed. Like it was a some bad comment. Some bad uh, Look, I'm gonna be careful with what I say here. I feel like in America, especially depending on the parts you're in, if you do see someone from neck to toe in tattoos, you will automatically assume that they are a gangster. That's like a negative stereotype. It's not always true. I feel like a lot of people think that way whenever they definitely see it. Whether it's a black person, a white person, you know, whenever you do see that, you probably will think that person is absolutely a gangster. I'm gonna get away from them because they might rob me. It's a very negative stereotype. But whenever you're tattooing your child, and 
there is negative stereotype like that out in the country. People will think that. I really hope she isn't getting gang tattoos on him because that could literally put his life at risk. We're raising him up for prison. That's an awful thing to say, but you have to keep in mind, people will comment that. You put it out in social media, social media is such a scary place, it's such a negative place as well. If you do put photos of your child, especially dolled up like that out in social media, people will absolutely say that. It was just bad all around. But we didn't regret it. I'm proud of Shamika of the life that she's making for trailing. She's so happy because she knows for a fact the mum is getting money. I can guarantee you the way that little kid is for an Instagram post, he's getting thousands of dollars. Literally just to sit and smile with an outfit on or beside like a product, he's getting like probably like 10 figures. Honestly, them little kids will be getting 20 grand literally for one Instagram photo. Because she's trying to pass on a legacy. She don't want her childhood to be his childhood. She wants better for her son. So yes, I'm very proud of her. But the thing is, putting your child on social media and having him as like the tattooed kid and him being known for that, is it good or bad? You don't know with social media, you go down a path, it can either go very good or very bad. Millions of people know who he is. He probably doesn't know like five people. He's gonna grow up and he's gonna be known as that. Does he want that? You know, this mother always talks about, oh, he loves it. Like he loves dressing up and stuff like that. But does he really? Or is he just acting like a baby? You know, whenever you talk to babies, you can literally be like, I'm gonna kill you. And they just hear high pitched voice and they're like, oh, smiley, ha ha ha. It's kind of like with a dog, like you literally say to a dog, you're gonna get smacked. But if you say it in a really friendly, high pitched way, they're gonna probably smile and like love it and think that you're saying nice things. Gonna go to the tattoo shop? No, this is what I came up with. No uncle's dog out for you. Okay, so I think this is him getting a tattoo. Yet again, I can't remember, are these tattoos real or fake? Like that's actually the big question I wanna know. If they're fake, it's not bad, but it's still not good. But if they're real, absolutely not. That child needs to get taken off her immediately. She came up with it like about a year ago and just felt like it would be a good idea for a promo and like the tattoos too, so it'll be a way for him to look like he's tatted. Of course that man's happy. He's literally getting promotion. Like he's probably getting thousands of views, hundreds of thousands, probably millions of views. He doesn't care. And that kind of irritates me because like he doesn't have, what's that word? Not common sense, but is it compassion? You know, whenever you see girls who are beautiful, perfectly fine and like a doctor will completely ruin their face, whether that's with like excessive surgery or like fake teeth and stuff. Like this child doesn't need to be getting tattooed. He's literally being exploited. Ah, oh, me. He got his first tattoo. Okay, yep, so it is fake tattoos, just like I suspected. Okay, that's good. The whole time I was thinking it was real tattoos. I mean, you know, they probably like wear off after like a month. But like, is it good for him? Like he is a baby, you have to be very careful with babies. Is the ink getting absorbed into his blood? Imagine he literally dies of like, I don't know, tattoo poison. My opinion of being a great mom is being their cheerleader, being their go-to person, being a best friend. Look, everyone parents their child completely different. I feel like a lot of people will definitely judge a child from the way their parent looks and acts. A lot of the times people will be filled with tattoos, piercings, etc. A lot of people look at them and be like, oh my God, they're a freak about their child is really badly behaved. That person could literally be the most lovely person in the world. You never judge a book by its cover. Does that count with her? I don't know. Cause it's like, is it right or is it wrong? I don't agree with it. Like, honestly, I don't. This sweet child's being put online as a tattoo kid with millions of followers and the mom is making a living off it. He might be happy, which is good. All kids should be happy. But like, is it right? I don't know if it morally is. I don't really know. With the temporary tattoos, there are not any risks. If you're judging someone off of 30 second videos on social media, that's your business. But what you say or think about someone don't determine what they're gonna be in the future. I mean, yeah, that is true. And I guess that's where we're gonna leave the video. At least we find out the tattoos in the end weren't real. Look, she has a son. She obviously treats him like a doll and makes money out of him. So she's just gonna do that. That's the way social media families are nowadays. Like people will literally have kids to make money out of them. Whether it's family channels, kids like that on Instagram. Like there's so many kids on Instagram with millions of followers. But yeah, I just don't really agree with it. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're a crisp big red subscribe button. And yes, I'll see you all in my next video.